today against the great English light heavyweight, former champion John Conti. And of course, he won the title from Marvin Johnson. Johnson didn't hold it long. There have been no knockdowns if you just join us. The Lundis, who has the face of a fighter, with what you'd expect of a fighter, has a swollen area under his right eye, tiny cut along the right corner. No problem to this point. He snaps away from some of those long left hand leads from the southpaw. just keeps moving in, throwing punches, keeping him off balance. You remember in his bout against Matthew Franklin, started for the first eight rounds with a tremendous pace, then ran out of gas in a bruising battle. And this now, as we are in the 10th round, See what his conditioning program, how it'll pay off. Remember, he was the WBC champion. He's fighting the WBA light heavyweight champion, Galindez. Third title defense in New Orleans for the champion. With a minute to go in the 10th round, the fans beginning to warm up to the action. Two good punches by the champion. Two left-hand leads by Johnson. Both those shots blocked. And it's good the right hand was because it was whistling. Both right heavyweights, 5'10". Johnson on the left, six years younger at 25. Point punching with even left hand leads. The referee, Jesus Salas. Oh, a staggering left hand lead. And it jarred the champion. So, and the referee. Punches being thrown. There. You see, it stopped him right in his tracks. On zone right behind us. Unfortunately, does not speak English. One of my favorite fighters of all time. Imagine that undefeated in 13 years. They're unleashing a lot of heavy leather now. This is only... Oh, and there goes the champion. The Lindos is down in the early part of the 11th round. The referee has stopped the bout. The referee says that is it, and Galindez, we feel sorry for him. He is crying, but he caught a shot that would knock anybody down. So now Marvin Hagler has won his second light heavyweight, or rather, Marvin Johnson has won his second light heavyweight championship. He has held the WBC, which he lost to Matt Franklin. Now he's won it. So here in New Orleans, Galindez, who started to weep because he knew he was on the seat of his pants and couldn't get up. The game champion that he is, he has lost it twice in this very ring in New Orleans, Louisiana. He was the favorite, and what an upset. 20 seconds into the 